Hello everybody, today I'm taking a look at the 2019 uh, Ram 1500 Laramie Longhorn. Um, I've been building and pricing all of the vehicles in the uh, with every single trim. Right now I'm on this one. So to keep everything as consistent as possible, I'm just going to try to keep um, uh, all of the uh, pretty much standard stuff the same. So I want 4x4 on every single model. Uh, I want... The crew cab with the 6.4 box. I wasn't able to get that on the Rebel, however. The only option was the 5.7 box. So I will select this one. The standard price for this is $55,190. Net price is $56,835. So this pretty much starts at what it cost to spec out one of these, the Rebel. So let's build this one. Select new model. It may take a couple seconds to, to load the new model. Alrighty. So, just like the Laramie, uh, the 5.7 Hemi is standard. Um, there is no option for a V6. Uh, it does cost $1,195. And the 5.7 Hemi with the e-torque is $1,995. This is a late availability, meaning uh, it won't be available as soon as the first batch of vehicles hits the dealerships in early April. Um, I will be adding this just because I've added it on every single vehicle so far. So here are your axle options. You have your anti-spin uh, differential for $435 and you have the e-locker rear axle for $495. So I'm going to select that. Because I selected that one, I need to get the 392 rear axle ratio. So uh, I will accept those changes. And that brings the total price up to $590 of upcharge. And the reason for that is because of that 392 rear axle, which is a $95 upcharge. So four corner air suspension still isn't standard on the Laramie Longhorn. It's gonna be a $1,795 upcharge. 33 gallon fuel tank for $425. Engine block heater for 95 that's been the same price since like forever it seems, no change there. Trailer tow group for $300, that gets us the tow mirrors, I want that. Level 1 equipment group for $3,400. And it looks like that is the only equipment group, so we will be adding that. 12 inch touchscreen, 19 speaker, premium audio. Blind spot with cross path trailer detection, door trim, power running boards, ventilated rear seats, RAM charging pad. We will be getting that. And it brings my total price up to $4,995 for this package because it's adding the advanced safety group for $1,595 more right there. Protection group, late availability, that's pretty much your skid plate package. Bed utility gives you like rails and stuff you can divide up your bed with for $395. Let's pick maximum steel. You do have an option for two-tone paint for $500 extra. And here's your rim options. There's no prices here because it requires additional information. And the 22-inch Laramie Longhorn rims are $1,595. Trifold tonneau cover is $450. I believe that's actually less expensive um, with the Laramie Longhorn than other packages. I believe it, with the other um, trim levels, it was $595. It looks like you do get a bed liner included with the Laramie Longhorn, and if you wanted to get rid of it, you would actually save $200. There's your cost for your two-tone paint. Alrighty. You only have the option for five passenger seating. Uh, that was the same on the Rebel and up, I'm assuming. So because I have the Uconnect, it's included here, even though it's standard. Uh, dual pane panoramic sunroof is $1,295 extra. We can view the summary now. So this pretty well equipped 
Uh, Laramie Longhorn comes in at $63,520. Uh, does have the e-torque system on the Hemi. So we can take a look at the interior. In my opinion, this is the most beautiful interior of, of all the trims. Um, I like it a little more than I like the limited interior. As you can see, you have the 12-inch uh, Uconnect push bar button start stop, which I like. Here is your, um, what is it called? Um, adaptive cruise control right here. And all these wood accents are absolutely beautiful. Let's take a look at the exterior. There's your LED taillights with your blind spot monitoring right there. Absolutely beautiful looking truck. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm building out and pricing out um, one truck for every single trim level. Uh, so if you haven't seen my other ones, please take a look at them. Um, pretty informational. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe for more content. When these hit the dealerships in uh, early April, I'm going to be going and I'm going to try to get a review and a walkthrough of um, each trim. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.